do it here. And Despair by love's own breath. Sing on until you bring back a thrill of a sentimental tune that died too soon. I hope that he was lost, but you forgave. I forgot, whispered out of quarrels.
God is our light and our salvation, our refuge and our stronghold. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O God, for with you is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set lights in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, you led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures, we give you glory through your son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
Our psalm this evening is Psalm 107, the lectionary selection for this Sunday. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he redeemed them from the hand of the foe. He gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some went down to the sea in ships and plied their trade in deep waters. They beheld the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Then he spoke, and a stormy wind arose, which tossed high the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens and fell back to the depths. Their hearts melted because of their peril. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper and quieted the waves of the sea. Then were they glad because of the calm, and he brought them to the harbor they were bound for. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and the wonders he does for his children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people and praise him in the council of the elders. Oh, my darling, always I'll remember 
Our gospel reading for this uh, Sunday is from Mark's gospel, the fourth chapter. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great gale arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased, and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? When I read this, I think of the proverbial glass half full or half empty. We can either go through life and feel that our lives and society are going to hell in a handbasket, or we can believe that Jesus is with us and that even though we ha have storms to face in our lives, we are not facing them alone. It must have been quite a storm because at least four of these disciples were fishermen, so they were not strangers to being on the water, but they were terrified. And sometimes things seem impossibly bad. And today is the sixth anniversary of the shooting at Emmanuel AME. And you will recall that that was a Bible study. And a 21-year-old white supremacist came in and they invited him to join them. And he sat through that Bible study, and then he shot them. Killing nine, wounding another. Today, there's a memorial in process at Emmanuel AME. And the design, it's the same person, um, Michael Arad, who did the World Trade Center memorial. The design is of two marble elliptical uh, shapes meant to convey the image of arms embracing or of angels' wings. And in the center, in this courtyard, will be a fountain with a cross shape out of which water will be coming and will then gently fall over the edge where the names of these nine will be engraved. And then a little farther in, there will be another courtyard with an altar for reflection and prayer. And beside that, a survivor's courtyard with six benches and six trees for the five survivors and for the church. That design was chosen based upon conversations with the folks of Emmanuel AME and they wanted the world to know that love always is stronger than hate. And in fact, that's what the mayor said, that this memorial, the Charleston, South Carolina mayor said, this memorial will always stand as a testimony to love over hate. And that's, that's the reality of what we preach and teach in the church that Jesus is with us, Jesus who went to the cross, who knew what it was to suffer unfairly, and who rose again. That love always, always wins over hate. And so I choose to go with peace be still of Jesus' presence with us through all of the challenges that we face in this life. Amen.
I invite you to join me in prayer. After each petition, I will say, hear us, O God. I invite you to respond. Your mercy is great. Let us pray. God of hope and promise, we pray for your reassurance in those times when we are afraid or tempted to doubt your presence. Give us courage to face that which confronts us, knowing that we are not alone. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. Today we remember the Emmanuel 9 and pray for all those whose lives have been marred or were taken by hatred and violence. We pray for your spirit to banish hatred and prejudice. Guide us in realizing our own blind spots and in being your agents for racial healing. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. As the 20th anniversary of the United Nations Refugee Day approaches this Sunday, we ask your mercy upon those who have fled their homelands in search of safer places to live. Strengthen their resolve and open doors for them to experience peace-filled, productive lives. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. In a complex world of borders and boundaries, where wealth and opportunity are unequally distributed, and where human greed and violence and prejudice are powers that infect our global community, lead us as people of faith in witnessing to the power of compassion and love in addressing these complexities. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Aid our national leaders in their diplomacy with countries from which people are fleeing to bring an end to war and violence, poverty and corruption. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Guide us in protecting the beauty and health of this earth. Aid us in using the Earth's resources wisely and sustainably, and instill within us a respect for all that you have created. As we face climate disruption that threatens all of us, help us in discerning and taking the big steps that are necessary. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We pray for the safety and ongoing learning of our youth through these summer months that they will be inspired to continue to learn and grow into a positive self-awareness of who they are and who God created them to be. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. We remember before you the poor and neglected, the homeless and destitute, the elderly and sick, and all who have none to care for them. Bring healing to those who are broken in body or spirit, turning their sorrow into joy. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Bless our musicians and all who fill our souls with beauty and joy. Strengthen them in their gifts and in your spirit moving in and through them. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Creator God, you've called us to ventures of which we cannot see the ending by paths as yet untrodden through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Provide us with that peace which the world cannot give and a song in our hearts that rings with joy and gratitude. Through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Till you let me spend my life again until you're there. 
here so we can see you. Star Kalahiki on vocals. Aviad Flores on bass. Dandel Negro on piano. And Manny Dea who's doing our live streaming tonight. Thank you to all of you for being here. We invite those of you that are watching online to come back and join us. Uh, and for all of you to have a really wonderful week. God bless. <laughs>